目合わせはここでするか<音声>
it's basically the same characteristics of Pirates of the Caribbean, except if you just take into it, like you don't take into the account of um, the curse part. It is basically it centers Luffy check having having like his journey of becoming king of the pirates which in retrospect is in the same nutshell as what captain jack sparrow was or was trying to be was trying to do with that little quote he ceased to say um this is the day you almost caught jack to, almost you almost caught jack captain jack sparrow <clears throat> basically in response to that um, basically saying he's the best of all the pirates and the last one of his kind, basically. But just like Pirates of the Caribbean, they tell a unique story. And, and One Piece tells a very unique story that's very similar, but if not better than, I guess, the new reboot that's probably coming. And I'd say on the balanced scale, because that was the only Disney film in the early 2000s that I've actually enjoyed. Um, coming in at number seven, we have Dragon Ball outshines Aladdin. Now, I'm not talking about GT. I am not talking about Super. I'm not talking about Dragon Ball Z. I am talking about the original Dragon Ball series. 1989, ladies and gentlemen, where you have uh, a kid, little kid named Goku. Goes around traveling for Dragon Balls to have one wish granted. And it's like the lad in many, many ways. Unless you count the action packed, the uh, um, fact that it uses martial arts and sword fighting. Um, basically the same thing. And if people aren't really a fan of anime, then their opinion or in general would be. Oh, it's Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball has seven little orbs that you gather, and a little dragon comes out to grant your wishes, just like Aladdin. Number six, Angelic Lair outshines Toy Story. As much as I loved Toy Story as a child, there are certain things that Angelic Lair does simply better. And, um, you know, I don't have to sit here all day and say why, because if you guys have watched Angelic Lair, you guys would probably connect the dots. Moving right along, number five, we have Snow White with the red hair outshining Snow White and Cinderella. Okay? There are... This is where I want to get into a great detail of this sh series. Um, Snow White, with the red hair, basically outshines them both for a multitude of reasons. Um, you have Shiryuki. Basically does a lot of Disney references. And basically tells a, tells a story, a unique story of Shiryuki, more unique and complex and while it does end up in the same pattern as Snow White and, and, and Cinderella combined, it it's tells a story in, uni in, in a unique way that I really think that uh, should take into a cons considerable amount of people's overall opinion. Um, number four, the daughter of 20 faces outshines Robin Hood. I don't know, guys. Disney's looking pretty sloppy. <laughs> I actually was kind of debatable on this one. But it's like it's kind of like Robin Hood in a great deal or a way. Because you have this this vigilante called 20 Faces, where he takes from the rich and return turns those materials to the poor. Kind of like Robin Hood. And more better storytelling, I'd say, and more action within those contexts. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's all it needed to be said there. Um, number three, 
Okay, you guys are probably going to hate me for this one. Um, number three is a little snow fairy sugar outshines Tinker Bell. Oh, yeah. Basically tells the same elemental story. Um, and yes, I have done my research specifically for this video. The movies basically tells a story of snow fairies, blah, 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 okay, that control the seasons and weather. The differences between those two series happens to be where it focuses mainly on this girl living in a city called, um, in this little town and basically focuses their, their attention on two main characters in the series, which makes it very, very unique, and it forces people to use their imaginations and just visualize. And, you know, that that is a big key in any storytelling in general. Like, this, is, this show is so good that it makes Tinkerbell look like a wet blanket. I'm sorry to say this, but it looks like a looks to be like very good, and it puts those films to to shame, in my opinion. I'm sorry to say that, but it is true. Um, number two, which is technically my favorite out of this whole entire list, Key, the Metal Idol, outshines Pinocchio. Okay, Pinocchio, you have a little girl that's a mechanical doll check in this case compared to the old one is a puppet same difference check you have key that has to make 100 friends in order to become human check you have um that's that's basically in a nutshell what key the metal idol is her journey same as Pinocchio, but tells it far, far, far better than anything you have ever seen. Um, and finally, guys, number one. Alice and Zoraku outshines Alice in Wonderland. <sighs> yes, this show had me debating whether or not I should put Key up there, but... This, I feel like I made the right choice because this series has uh, a multitude of anim like it has a multitude of references it takes from Alice, Alice in Wonderland and makes it into a unique story that, that, you know, people have like using your imagination and her journey as a as as a person growing up and, and basically telling her side of the story and what happened and you know it's 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 one of the best shows i could actually recommend you to this to to him and it's and it's one of the best one of the best reinterpretations and reincarnations of a series that died after new generation started so guys, that it does it about uh, that about wraps my video up on the best top ten anime uh, that tells Disney classics better than Disney. If you guys like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below on what you think is basically the best of uh, of Disney interpretations. A lot of fun bringing you guys this video, and I hope you guys I hope to see you guys in the next stream. I'll be starting later on tonight. Have a wonderful day, have a wonderful night, and have a wonderful afternoon. Thank you so much for 104 subscribers. You are insanely awesome. Thank you, thank you so, so much. You guys are amazing in every way. Thank you for always supporting my channel. It means all the world to me, and I'll see you guys in the next video.